good day. In this video, we're going to explain to you how to solve equations with fractions. In this example, they say solve for m, and they gave us this equation with m over 4 equals to 15 minus m. When we solve equations with fractions, the first thing we do is we change all these terms into fractions. So we keep the first fraction, change the 15 to a 15 over 1, and change the m to a minus m over 1. Now everything is fractions. The first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of these fractions as soon as possible. The first thing we have to do is we have to find the LCD. At the bottom we see there's a 4, there's a 1, and there's a 1. The LCD of this is then 4. So we times each term by the LCD, which is 4 over 1. So we write 4 over 1 times in front of this term. 4 over 1 times in front of this term. And 4 over 1 times in front of this term. So now we're going to times each one of these terms by the LCD 4 over 1. I assume you know how to do fraction multiplication. I'll do that with you quickly again. Just cancel. We say 4 goes in here once and 4 goes in there once. This term and this term can't simplify further. So we're going to times this one with this m, the 4 with the 15, and the 4 with the m. The bottoms, 1 times 1 will be 1, and anything under a fraction with a 1, you can leave it out. This 1 times 1 at the bottom can fall away. This 1 times 1 is 1, which can also fall away. I like to write this step. The 1 times m I write out. The 4 times 15 I write out. And I keep the minus. And 4 times m I write out. Then you simplify, 1 times m is m, 4 times 15 is 60, and minus 4 times n is minus 4m. Now we solve for m. To get the minus 4m away from this side and get it to this side, I plus 4m on both sides. That gives me 5m equals 60. Now to get rid of the 5 next to the m, there's a multiply between the 5 and the m. We divide by 5 on both sides. The final answer, m equals to 12. 5 goes into 60 12 times. Eventually, after you've done many of these sums, you will get to this stage. Write times by the LCD and write your LCD as a fraction. Don't write it out three times, but do understand that you have to times him to this one, to this one, and to this one. But that's not that easy in the beginning. So practice it a lot of times using this method, where you write the LCD in front of each one of the terms and then do your work right there. Please stop the video and get your brain around this pattern of working out equations with fractions. It is our second equation, and remember this is algebra. You must know how fraction multiplication works. You must also know what the word LCD means. Look at the videos that explains that to you. This is an equation with fractions because there is a fraction in the equation. First we make everything fractions. So we have 12 over n equals minus 4 over 1. Everything is fractions. Now we're going to get rid of the fractions. So we times every term, both of them, by the LCD, in this case, which is n. The bottom here is n and 1, and the LCD of those two is n. So we write n over 1 times in front of each one of these terms. So we're going to times both of them by the n over 1. Now this becomes fractions multiplication. n goes in here once, and n goes in there once. On the other side, we can't simplify anymore. 1 goes into n n times. It will stay like that. So now we times the top with the top, and the bottom with the bottom, top with the top, and the bottom with the bottom. If you now times this out, 1 times 12, I wrote it here. At the bottom, 1 times 1 is 1, and the 1 underneath in a fraction, we can leave out. Then we times the n with the minus 4, I wrote it here. Bottom we have 1 times 1, and 1 underneath here, we can leave it out. Then we simplify the two sides. 1 times 12 is 12, and n times minus 4 is minus 4n. Now we can solve for n to get the n alone. Between this minus 4 and this n, there is a multiplication. To the inverse operation, we divide by minus 4 on both sides to get the minus 4 away from the n. Minus 4 divided by minus 4 is plus 1. We don't have to write that, so this is just n. And then 
plus 12 divided by minus 4 is minus 3. The value of n is then minus 3. You do not have to bring it to the left-hand side and take this number to the right-hand side. You can leave it like this. Please stop the video and get your brain around this equation with fractions. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into an equation, algebra, fraction problem that you have trouble solving, you can send a clear WhatsApp photo of your problem to this number and a clear WhatsApp photo of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible. Enjoy equations with fractions in algebra.